Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. And we have a familiar face, I'm sure, uh, Amir Benefitemi, General Manager of Innovation for the X Prize. Um, what's different as you've been going through the corridors and taking part in workshops this year? Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, this year has been phenomenal. We have seen the growth of uh, the event from year one in 2017 up to now. The amount of uh, sessions that have been increasing and the conversations ranging from the typical uh, uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals topics that we have selected this year, and five of them, we added some new topics this year on space and culture and diversity and also scaling AI, which has been additional to what we've done last year. And that increased the number of sessions, the number of panels, the number of workshops, and obviously the number of speakers and participants. So this has created a whole new dynamics in the event and we see that the growth of the event is also sustained by real conversations between stakeholders that are interested in AI for good but also more innovators and entrepreneurs that are joining. We've heard the word scaling a lot for someone who's just arrived from the moon. What does that mean? Uh, scaling is an interesting term. We're referring to scaling as if we know how AI can be used for good, how can we build capacity to scale more? to offer that to more countries, to more individuals, to more constituents, to more communities, and make sure it's responsibly scaled, but also securely scaled. So this term is, is being used a lot in this, uh, in this summit. Yeah, you mentioned that a lot of diversity, gender, neutrality have been key themes this year. Um, why? Why would they have to be singled out this year? Uh, as we learn more and more about how uh, AI is being used, and the biases that could be created when you create those algorithms and, and, and solutions. We need to be aware that we need to take into account not only biases that come from data, but biases that come from problems that are defined. And those problems have to be defined more at the source by those who own the problem. And that requires diversity of approaches, diversity of culture, diversity of knowledge. And therefore, you have to integrate way more communities and cultures and language and geographies to make sure you take into account uh, that diversity. That will take time. That will take obviously very time. And uh, the three years that we've started with this event will probably necessitate another few years to make sure that we hit that goal. Last couple of questions. Now, obviously, there's been a lot of um, candidates downstairs for the X Prize. What do you think so far of what they've got to offer? Uh, we have uh, been uh, lucky this year to be able to coincide the summit with our annual X Prize uh, competitors team summit. And because of that, we had about 70 teams that have joined around the summit and they're showcasing now to the audience the solutions that they're working on. And all of those solutions are AI for humanity, AI for sustainable goals. And that has been uh, very interesting and intriguing for the audience because this is the first time they can see in such a s small space all those, all those efforts. Um, we've had a couple of futurologists coming in talking. So if you put on your futurologist hat, where do you see this three years from now? Uh, the summit, you mean? Uh, I think the summit could become uh, the place where we talk about real policy and governance of AI and how AI can be used really for good, but from a multi-stakeholder pers pers perspective, but also include academia uh, and the real uh, pushers of science in AI come together. Okay, thanks very much. That was Amir Banafitami from the X Prize and uh, um, General Manager of Innovation for this. So thank you very much thank for your you time. Thank you, Chris.